So in this video I wanted to show you what I think is one of the cooler pedals in the Helix and it's the Diana Drive. Now this is based on the Hamida Zen Drive, uh, kind of a legendary pedal now, famous for people like Robin Ford using it into like Fender style amps to get some of that dumble tone when he doesn't want to take a dumble. I think Eric Johnson has had one on his board at times. Lots of people feel free to leave comments about who's used it. So here's the clean tone. <laughs> into a litigator and then we kick on the Diana Drive so these are my settings that I've got on the Diana Drive at the moment if you have default settings they are like this um, and so let's just go through and the level obviously is the volume and you'll see to get unity gain you need that fairly low so let's just go back to default the important knobs I guess are the gain and the voice so the gain knob obviously the amount of gain and the voice knob then does other things so the voice knob actually controls the amount of gain available in the pedal according to the manual so the most gain is with the voice all the way up <laughs> Okay, and then all the way down, we increase bottom end response, so we get a bit more bass. A bit less gain. So, just for... And then apparently the tone is a simple high cut, so all the way down. Not the most effective tone control. Sort of like a tube screamer tone control. So, as I say, the settings that I quite liked when I was playing around earlier, I had the voice down nice and low and I had the tone down fairly low. And 
and the other thing I was doing was boosting it with a Timmy. So you know, it's, it's got sort of tube screamer levels of drive. If you boost it with a Timmy. <laughs> get a really really nice kind of soupy tone and you could even whack this voice up for more gain as we discussed and then take the tone back down and you notice really with that voice all the way up you can't really get that darker tone that you can get with the voice down. So two things that that voice control is doing. Uh, one is it's cutting the bass and it's increasing the available gain as you turn it up. And then you've got a tone control. So this was the pedals that I used to try and replicate the dude earlier this morning. But I'm just really enjoying those in combination. I've got a few kind of different settings there. As I say, chuck a Timmy in front with the gain at about five, use a little bit of the bass cut and center clipping. I think that works really nicely in front of the Diana drive. And then I've got the gain at 10, voice at zero, 6.2 is where I've got the tone to kind of compensate for that more bass and the level at 2.4 because it's fairly hot with the drive. <laughs> Just a really nice kind of dumbly fluffy tone and that's kind of the cool thing about the Zen Drive. I think it's got a, a few different things that you can do. That's essentially what those controls do. So keep that voice higher if you want the maximum gain. Keep it lower if you want the maximum bass. Tone control don't worry about it. It's more or less like an Ibanez kind of tube screamer tone control. And the level I keep that relatively low to get it closer to unity gain and then obviously gain does what it does but the voice and the gain are the most important controls. Hopefully that was vaguely useful to one or two people and I'll drop this preset into the folder if you want it, leave a comment and I'll catch you in another video soon.